These days, police work is about more than just chasing down bad guys on the streets. It's also about math. Algorithms power high-tech software that Hamilton County uses to track down criminals. Angela Ingram gives us an inside look. So out of 1,000, 927 was the score for this suspect. And that suspect that popped up in the yellow shirt, his name is Nino Daly. Within minutes, software at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office matches a new picture of Nino Daly with older mug shots. So what this is, is that image squared up and fixed. It's a facial recognition program. Workers say the department was the first in Ohio to have the technology. The points that they find are all mathematically figured out in an algorithm that will then do the exact same search in the computer program on our database of criminal photos. Analysts receive training, including from the FBI. They can even generate an image off of a still from surveillance video or a profile of someone's face. And if the face is turned, we can create a 3D image of that face with this uh, part of this product. This system led to Daly's arrest. Cincinnati officer Frank Palmisano was investigating a robbery where a suspect used social media to lure and rob a man in Winton Terrace. My victim still had the Facebook and everything that Mr. Daly was using. It was under a slightly different name, um, so we couldn't get his real name through that way. So that's what we did. We were able to copy and paste it into there and then the facial, facial recognition hit to Mr. Daly. Since January, Palmasano has arrested roughly six suspects with help from this software. From the time that we get assigned the case till the time we either can't develop a suspect or we develop a suspect until that suspect's arrested, we're constantly working on that. The sheriff's analysts help any law enforcement agency that asks. What this does is put another tool in the investigator's belt, so to speak, so that they can go and can do what they always do as an investigation, but now we, we give them a direction to go into. And the sheriff's office is only using photographs within its database. It does not use public photographs, for instance, any photos from the BMV or any pictures on the Internet, only people who have been arrested within the county. And Cincinnati Police Department also points out that in addition to doing those facial recognitions, they also rely on uh, when you look at a photo lineup as well. That way they make sure they have the right suspect. Reporting live tonight from the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News, Rob to you. Angela, thanks very much. The sheriff's office has had the software for almost a year now. Analysts helped make several arrests in the first few months.